Rob, I'd say welcome to Gateshead, but it feels like you've been around the place for, for quite a while now, really, but in an official capacity now, of course, coming on as a, a technical director at the club. How are you, you feeling to now, as I say, just be officially involved around the place? No, it's great. Really pleased. Um, like you said, I've been around for the last couple of years, I suppose, nearly. Um, just with Mike and coming down just the train when I was when I left Newcastle and help out with coaching or just in just being around the place I've really loved it and yeah when the opportunity come up to to come in and get involved it was a it was just a no-brainer for me being back in the northeast being back home uh, and starting sort of like a a new like a new chapter I suppose which still incorporates like playing coaching but also the this new role and obviously you mentioned being around for a little while there's someone I suppose with no previous connection or, or kind of affiliation with the club really how did it first come around in, in getting involved and in just training at first as you say just through mike yeah just we know mike for so long and obviously he's so open and relaxed he's just like come down with us it's no problem and obviously when you get like obviously getting snow bust and um and belly and obviously like sort of helping with um helping with like louis obviously i knew louis with the before he come in and then working with louis every day it's just it's just an environment i love coming into i genuinely enjoyed it uh, and I think like when you find you genuinely enjoy something, you really love it, then you want to sort of do more of it. And obviously, and then now this has come around, it's really worked out. Um, it's really worked out well where I can, I, I feel like I'm a part of something, and, and looking forward to looking forward to what's going to hopefully what the future holds. Of course, this role being the first one for yourself in terms of more to it than than just on the playing side and the football side specifically. But what was it that, that made you want to make that kind of transition? Um, I suppose when I've always played, I've always had like uh, been involved in sort of other stuff outside, whether it's businesses, properties, or just for, my own, for myself. We obviously have the one glove, um, which I've been involved in. I sort of like really like that side of things, you know, creating things and, and trying to help grow things. But I think mainly because um, you just want to be able to create something, whether it's on the pitch or hopefully off the pitch, that just benefits everyone. You do it for the right reasons and put things in place. And it doesn't matter what resources you've got, as long as your intentions are good and you're trying your best to, uh, and you're trying your best to give everything you can for the club. Um, sorry, <laughs> it's difficult. Apologies. Um, no, looking good though, the pitch is looking class. Um, no, yeah, just, just making sure that we're trying to um, all push the club in the right direction and, and sort of just have that influence where, okay, we haven't got the resources of like big, some of the bigger clubs, but, but everything we do, we do it with purpose, and we make sure we do it really efficiently, and that it does, and we do it in a way that that um, helps Mike, helps the lads, and hopefully helps the club to grow. And as you mentioned, that being a bit of a transition involved in some of the off-field stuff, of course, there's still some on-field involvement there. Of course, registering as a player, helping out with in terms of coaching, which obviously you've done around the club previously but how sort of heavy I suppose is the involvement on the coaching side with Mike and, and Busted and, and Louie and Chris going to be for yourself? Yeah no it's good like they've been great they've worked me in, welcomed me in as part of the team uh, obviously I just like I said I'm just there we all I think sort of thing is here everyone's pitched in together like that, that, that's how it is here you know no one just has one job everyone has three or four um, and it's just to be there in any capacity you might need on a match day coaching um, playing whatever it may be you know I'll play in emergencies uh, or if we're struggling, but we're really strong in the goalkeeping department, so that's a massive plus. Um, and yeah, it's just basically being whatever is needed from the playing coach inside that Mike needs to support him or what Busty needs or Louis or Chris. Um, and then obviously off the field trying to set up a structure for them that allows them to be able to be to be able to do even more and sort of help help their development and help the club's development, um, uh, especially on the pitch. You know, the lads have been unbelievable what they've done, where they've got us to. We just want to keep pushing and keep giving them all the opportunities we can to show how good they are and, and, and really do something special in this league. And in terms of the off-field involvement, everything's sort of part of more of a, a longer term plan and, and vision for the club and, and growing and, and where it wants to go. But how do you see yourself you know, fitting into that and, and how are you looking forward really to just trying to help the club progress? That's pretty much it really. Do you know, the best thing about here is you just, there's so many like brilliant like-minded people who are just trying to help the club. And I think if I can, then I want to be able to just sort of use my experience at football clubs to sort of put the structure in, uh, hopefully try and generate sort of the fan base, to generate income, you know, money. Like money is important to a football club, make the club as sustainable as possible. Um, so then again, we're always helping Mike and the lads to, on the pitch. 
Um, and I think, yeah, I think it's just a case of working with everyone to make sure that we're all uh, helping each other and ultimately doing what's best for Gateshead. Um, like the guys, obviously, who brought us in, Neil, Bernard, um, Mark, Scott, like all, all the guys that um, that I've spoken to and I just explained what it is, I think, and, and how and, and what I feel. You know, they've been brilliant and supportive and, and hopefully, like, working together, we can all, like, just put the club in a in a better place, and that's what that's what we want to do. We just want to make sure that the club's a little bit better um, tomorrow than it was today. Um, and you know, I think it's sort of like, it's a massive uh, it's a massive um, opportunity for us to to use the platform the players have built and where the club was three years ago to where it is now to just just build on it and and keep improving. And in, in terms of I suppose Gateshead fitting into the, the area as well as the you know the, the northeast yourself. Obviously, been at Newcastle previously. You've sort of returned to the northeast. Obviously, now based around here, really. But what has it been about the area that that's made you sort of keep coming back over time and has ultimately led you here? Yeah, I mean, I never really left since I joined Newcastle. You no, know, family stayed in uh, stayed in the coast when we was away, and it was always my home. You know, I think I knew that after a year or two, we knew it was our home. Kids are all born here, like. Um, and like we just love it here like it's, it's it's our it is where we are you know i've been um sort of uh, an adopted geordie as everyone keeps telling me but no it's just the community the people you know whether it's whether i come into gateshead whether i'm at newcastle whether i'm taking the kids to school it's just a genuine sense everyone looks out for each other and everyone just wants to make sure everyone's okay and doing well and i love that about it and i love the uh i love the f and that's what i want to do here is i want to take that sort of like sense of community sense of wanting to help sense of doing things for the right reasons um, and we want to implement at the club, you know, Mike's message is always we're, we're humble, we're hard working, we, um, you know, there's no egos, um, there's no egos, we all, um, we all pitch in, we do whatever we need to do to win a game of football or help the club progress or whatever it is uh, and obviously um, that's what I'm just coming in to help to do.